Hey everyone, it's Ivan, kitbatcher.com, out here for a first look at something new from Shield Arms as well as Shooters Global. Not too long ago, I actually did a, another first look, including a shot timer from Shooters Global. This one is their Timer Go. And so basically about half the price, more affordable. And with it, kind of a little bit simpler as I understand it, as far as buttons, readout, things along those lines. And oh, there we go. So a little bit different as far as form function or form factor rather. And it's definitely loud. Um, and so yeah, a little bit less as far as the display on the screen. Hey, sit or just go away for a minute. But new shot timer. And I think there's some other things too, as far as like differences. Again, it's half the price. I want to say around 150 bucks, get them through Brown Owls versus about 300 block, 300 bucks for their other shot timer. But the other thing with it is you can actually pair it like the other shot timer with app and you can run all kinds of drills. And then I want to say, stop. You can basically scroll through the sensitivity. So if you want, you can train dry fire, suppressed, airsoft, all of it to include obviously live fire. But before we use that, we're gonna check this out by Shield Arms. Let's see what we got in here. We need a knife is what we need. Cool. So right here we have, gonna have to play, oh dang, that's sweet. So basically it is a fanny pack by Shield Arms that is made to give you quick access to your pistol. So rather than like a traditional fanny pack where you're basically running the zipper, you can just pull this thing and it looks like there's Velcro and there's also magnets, which is pretty cool. And then, so you can actually carry your pistol live. Got this guy right here by Raven Concealment. So we can get that mounted inside there. Then of course we need a pistol to carry and shoot out of said sack 43x nice but shield arms has some of their upgrades in here as well as a custom serico job so nice legit mags so i have two magazines in here which technically is all i need to shoot that rune nation cold start but I'll jam up some mags and we'll see what happens. All right, it's about time to do this thing. I have my junk sack, the shield arms, clever plant words, as well as this 43X from them. I have two magazines. I don't have third magazine for this drill. This one right here is loaded to eight. And then I have this guy by Raven Concealment Put on there. There we go. And so there's this hook here inside the junk sack. There's basically the strap goes over that strap, hooks down into it. So it's secure when you pull the pistol out over here. There's also elastic band or loop rather spare mag this with one of their plus two extensions on top of their 15 rounds. So do some quick math, 17 rounds. I don't know if this is loaded full. It definitely has more than eight because if for some reason in this cold start, I drop around, I'll basically drop the mag, reinsert it, charge it. I get it live around the go on the ground and then finish out the drill. So we'll do this cold, cold start. And yeah, it's not warm. I'm going to say, it's in the low teens this morning. Pretty sure it's still under 30 right now. So we'll give this thing a go and see what we get. 
All right, I probably got this. Let's do it live. Have you never drawn out or shot from this thing or this pistol? Not gonna lie, I shanked that first one bad. Oh, yeah. For the sake of a time. Whew. Nailed it. 30.74. Not my best work, but it's what I got. Depending on how daring you are, you could probably just shove this back in there, but this clip comes out pretty easy. So probably best practice to just take that clip off and reholster the pistol that way. But you do you. Let's go look at this. So about this, I will say this junk sack, pretty intuitive, especially having never drawn out from it. Broke my first round and went there. I'm like, oh man, probably wind. And then it was just a bunch of recoil anticipation is what it was because my first round into that circle went there, fortunately in that circle. Shot those, got that one, uh, shot that again. Conducted a reload, got that, and then shot there, missed around somewhere in there, I guess I, or yeah, missed around three in there, and then I went to shoot this again, remembered I needed to clear the gun out so I could do another reload, and eventually got that, and then came back, missed another one, and got that. Obviously a lot of wind at three yards, but... Yeah, that was all me. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw some steel up, do a little bit more shooting. Also, as a quick aside, this shot timer, again, simplified buttons also, but lets you scroll through, see where your splits were. Spoiler, mine were not that impressive for that cold start, ruination cold start, but pretty cool. And it also keeps track of your shots. So that drill took me 20 rounds rather than the allotted 16, whatever. It happened. So um, probably about 15 yards from a reduced BC from T targets. Do a little bit of one reload one and see if we can hit this thing. I did it. All right. So First round at 2.78, and second round at 5.99. Cool. Keep in mind that's second time I drew out of this thing. 2.78 draw stroke. We'll work on that. faster already. 2.52, second round, 6.74. Sweet. Dang. All right, now that's wrong. I'm like, what the heck? So if you're wondering, I ended up hitting this thing at 1.27 seconds, marked as a shot. First round at 2.59, second round at 7.76, a little slow on that second one. All right, 2.51, second shot, 6.02. Get in there. All right, 
Dang. 2.32, 6.21. Probably my best one yet. So, thoughts so far on this new timer from Shooters Global, as well as this junk sack and 43X from Shield Arms. I think it's pretty cool. One, this is nice, like, depending on what you're doing, this will probably do all of the things. And it's more inexpensive than, again, like half the price from the other one. Again, goes to what you're looking to accomplish with it. Pretty cool though. Junk sack, pistol, all that. It's cool. And I'm sure some of you are like, why do I need that fanny pack? Maybe you don't, I don't know. I actually shot a pistol class with Rune Nation. It was, I think, one of their low-vis pistol classes. And through the whole class, I was drawing out of a fanny pack. I think it was the Spirit of Systems, and I was shooting my HK P7M8. It was a lot of fun. That said, yeah, I was wearing board shorts. I think I might have been wearing Crocs, too. So, yeah, drawing a pistol from a fanny pack. That said, you're constantly trying to work a zipper, which, like, that's real. The way they've set this up with this little grab handle, really cool, as well as rare earth magnets in there, and then some Velcro for kind of additional closure. And then on top of that, you have a pocket in front. So everyone's like, why are you wearing a fanny pack and you're never getting anything in or out of it? And I'm like, no, you can actually use it. So people are like, why, why are you carrying that messenger bag that you never pull anything out of? They're like, don't worry about it. So you can actually use this to carry around phone, wallet, keys, things like that. And it comes again to use case, probably in the summer when you're wearing board shorts and flip-flops or Crocs, or when it's really, really cold out. And I have two jackets on right now and a shirt on. So trying to basically get through all of those layers, pretty difficult versus wearing something like this. And again, time and place. Like out here, you could probably just wear an exposed like holster straight on your chest if you wanted to. But depending on the environment, probably better serve with something like this. So yeah, I don't know, been enjoying it. And as usual, when I get more time with both this, as well as this new pistol and the junk sack, bring you guys full review. But as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.